The skate park we're looking at today is an absolute monster. I was surprised that I hadn't heard about this skate park yet, but it only opened up about a month ago. It's 12,000 square feet. The idea was to have it as long as a football field. Now the idea for building this park actually started about 13 years ago. Where the skate park stands, there was a DIY skate park, one built by local skaters. I read this amazing article about the whole thing, but the author of it took this picture 13 years ago. There was a sign on the fence saying, meeting at City Hall, please attend, had the date, new skate park, we want your ideas. It is absolutely insane what goes behind each and every single skate park that gets built. Now right here is the initial 3D rendering of the skate park. We're about to go there right now to see if it actually matches up with what their plan was. Now let's talk about pricing. For a skate park of this magnitude, it's actually relatively cheap and it was helped out immensely by the one and only Tony Hawk. But before we get into that, let's just get a session and get a good look at every obstacle at this park. Okay, so I skated one side of it. There's still the whole middle section, which is like the technical section. Probably something that I would prefer to skate anyways. And it's split into three parts, so the other side of the park is a bowl and just transition, which is kind of like the thing that I'm worst at, but still fun to try. Okay, so I don't know the legitimacy of this article, but it basically said that this park cost nearly $900,000, which in hindsight, doesn't seem like much for a park in Manhattan, even though it's in Jersey City, but it's like right, right there, like right next door. I always think back to the skate park that I made a video about in Brooklyn that was about $2.7 million and it was tiny, about one fifth the size of the skate park, I would say. Now, what was Tony Hawk's contribution to this park? Well, their company donated $25 thousand dollars and if that seems insignificant in comparison to nine hundred thousand tony hawk actually donates this to a lot of skate parks in the country so they're definitely donating millions of dollars to all these parks and it's cool that they picked jersey city because skateboarding is popular here so it's a good investment that being said i feel like we should just get into the metal section right now and skate it to see how it feels it's my favorite stuff to skate anyway so i feel like it's going to be a fun session So the park is extremely active right now. It is a weekend, it's a beautiful day, so of course there's gonna be a lot of people. So for me, of course, filming is gonna be limited because I don't wanna put my camera in people's way. I hate doing it, but I still got some footage. I guess at this point, New Jersey and New York are gonna get it right almost every single time since they've built so many at this point, and they always have professionals come in and build it, and I think this one was built by some of the same people who built most of the skate parks. I'm like, man, I used to skate all the time. Yeah, well, I did until I was back at college, took a lot of time off. All in all, phenomenal skate park. I had an amazing time, even though it was hectic. Towards the end, I was 
falling. And as soon as I would fall, I felt like someone was gonna run over my face. But during the weekdays, apparently, according to the homie I was just talking to, it really isn't that bad. So 100% gonna come back since it's only a 25 minute drive from where your boy exists. If you've been keeping up with my last couple videos, you know that I actually rented a car. So that's why I've been going to these fun skate parks that are technically a little further away than I would usually go to. And yesterday, my fiance and I went on a one day little vacation to Pleasantville. It was very, I'm not gonna say pleasant. Do not say pleasant. It was very therapeutic. And because of the productiveness of the last four days going on one day vacations, filming three videos at skate parks in four days, I, I think we're gonna get a car. But we did just move into a new apartment in Manhattan and I wanna film a whole tour of the place just randomly for my channel. So getting a car on top of this big move, it's, it's definitely, it's, we're investing a lot of money into a lot of crazy things. And being a YouTuber skateboarder personality, I am not someone who has ever had any idea what to do with money. So I think right now is the time where I'm gonna be investing in a lot of very fun things. Things for better videos, better entertainment, and just for me to have fun in life. Cause that's kind of what I think money is for, I guess, right? So stay tuned for this Thursday for another video on my channel because I'm on a roll right now. I'm actually having a really good time making videos and I'm glad that people out there, all of you, all the progressed dailians are watching and enjoying. It means a lot. I'll see you next time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it. Skating transition gives me a decent amount of anxiety. I'm constantly overcoming like a fear of falling because I don't really understand how the obstacles work. Therefore, my confidence actually goes up really high for the rest of the park. So oddly enough, after sessioning that, I feel a lot more motivated to try, I guess anything I would ever try on anything else. And today I do feel a little aggressive. I feel like adding a little power to the skating. So I'm gonna try to grind every tall obstacle in this skate park, just practice my ups.
ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸੀ